think about density with a song that uh, encapsulates encapsulate the whole video and it is a science filled knowledge which is which depicts the theme of learning while being excellent or mahusay. Let's learn and be mahusay. Explore, discover the wonders of science in our day. The lives, earth, biophysics, and chemistry. Let's feed our curiosity. Let's learn and be mahusay. Hi, subscribers! Have you ever wished that your drawings would come alive and the stick figures or objects on your paper could move around? It's not impossible as it sounds. I am Sophia Flores, and in this video, we are going to learn about a lesson in chemistry. But first, let's make this fun experiment. Hi, subscribers! This is Pia Laksa, and in this activity, you will make your drawing move around by letting it float on water. What makes this possible is the interesting chemistry of dry erase markers. These markers are usually used to write on whiteboards or glass surfaces that can easily erase. It turns out they're also perfect for doing science experiments. The materials are simple and are surely available at home. These are the whiteboard markers, a picture frame, a glass or a plate, and water. Hi subscribers! I'm Erica and I'm going to join you in this fun experiment. I'm so excited to try this, so let's go! Whoa. on the glass. A stick figure is a good one to start with. So let's do it. Here, draw a little head, and then a body, then the arms and the legs. So there we have our stick figure. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? So second, what we are going to do is to slowly pour the water into the plate. Then third, we have to swirl our water around. And then lastly, observe what happens to our drawing as it dances and moves around. All right. We have it, our dancing stick figure. Whoa, oh, let's bring it into life. Whoa, oh, make it fun with science. Whoa, oh, let's watch it move around. But, but why, why do you think, think it floats on water? water? This happens because the ink is less dense in the water, meaning that the molecules in the ink are not as tightly packed as the molecules in the water. When an object is less dense in the water, it becomes buoyant, it floats on the water. When an object is more dense in the water, it will sink. This is possible because dry erase markers contain special ingredients including a solvent which is usually some kind of alcohol. This is used to dissolve the color pigments that determine the marker's color. In addition, a resin or polymer is added, which is the key to making the ink erasable. In a dry erase marker, the resin is an oily silicone polymer, which acts as a release agent. This makes the ink of the marker very slippery and it prevents it from staining the whiteboard surface. This is why the ink of the marker can easily be wiped off from a very smooth, non-porous surface such as a whiteboard or a glass. You might know that dry erase markers can stain other surfaces such as clothes permanently. This is because the fabric doesn't have a smooth surface, so the ink can soak into its pores, staining them forever. In real permanent markers, the resin used is an acrylic polymer that functions as a binding agent, which makes the ink stick to the surface. Only the type of polymer differentiates a permanent marker from an erasable marker. What brings our drawing into life, into life, into life? Well, it's just a little chemistry, density. D equals M over V, mass volume, mass volume. The reason why oil floats on water, density. Solid, liquid, gas have densities, density, density. It's all a little chemistry, density. 
Thank you for watching.